Hi guys, it's Vanessa. I'm here to do a nail polish haul and one random lipstick. <laughs> but um, I'm not going to be in the video only because I look a hot mess. And I figured this would be a little bit faster. I swatched all the colors on here and I just smeared one. <laughs> so we'll get started. So the first color that I picked up is um, from the brand Fresh Paint. And I'm not sure if I showed this already in a haul, but I know that I didn't swatch it. Um, so I this was a long time ago, but I did want to swatch it. And Fresh Paint is a brand that I picked up at Five Below, which is um, a store that's kind of like a dollar store where everything's $5. And the name of this one is the reason I bought it. It's so cute. It's called All of You, as in I love you. Get it? So cute. Yeah, so it's like the, I guess it's the Five Below house brand because it even says Five Below ink on the thing. But I was actually really um, pleasantly surprised with this. It uh, swatched really nice and it was very pretty. And that one is this swatch right here, the first one. And the reason um, it's close to a swatch that looks a lot like it is I swatched it next to um, Chanel's Peridot because I thought the color was similar. Like, this is much darker. Let me bring out Chanel. And we'll go to this part so you can see. So this one is much darker and it has shimmers in it. Where Chanel has no shimmer in it, it's just more of like um, a inky gold like gilded kind of um sheen and this one doesn't have that inkiness to it it's just kind of like a gilded green it's not as like metallic however you can see that the shade is like just one deeper and um I did layer some things on it just to give it a little bit of that peridot feel so what I put on it was um this china glaze kind of golden a uh, top coat called, what is this called? Um, Golden Meringue, which I like to put on polishes like this just to give it a little bit more of this pizzazz. I mean, it's not as quite, but it did um, really help it match a little bit. And then I also put on top of it another color that I'll talk about in a little bit. But even so, the swatch is still similar to what it would be without it, and I still think it's a gorgeous color. And if Chanel Peridot didn't really quite work out for you, this might be a nice alternative. So that was that polish. The next one I picked up was from my dear, dear favorite brand, Matisse Elite. <laughs> now, this is the Ricky's house brand, and Ricky's is a store in New York, as you guys know. Now, this is my favorite nail polish. I've mentioned it before. I've done tons of videos. I love, 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 love the Emmy nail polishes. Sadly, Ricky's has decided to discontinue their house brand of cosmetics. So um, these are all currently on sale right now for really cheap, um, as well as all the cosmetics are on sale. So these are, um, the minis are, and that's a mini, let me just compare it to you. So this is a full size and that's the mini. And the mini ones are, does it say how many grams or ounces or anything? Let's see. No, it doesn't really say. So whatever. <laughs> but they're smaller than this one, obviously. And the mini one is 99 cents. And then the um, full size is $5.99, and it's buy one, get one. And with the full size, you get 0.5 ounces, so there is a lot. Maybe this does say it. No, it doesn't say it. <laughs> but anywho, um, this is much more than you'll ever need. It'll take a long time to go through this. But anyway, we'll talk about this one. So this one is called Up My Platinum. And I bought this because I realized that I don't have just like a metallic-y, like a pure silver polish. Um, but when I bought this one, they also had another like silver one, um, called silver something like where it was actual silver versus this one obviously is more metallic, but, um, I went with the metallic one cause it was in a mini and they, the other one wasn't offered in mini. And when I got it, I kind of regretted cause this is definitely lighter. Sorry. Don't look at my nails. <laughs> this is definitely lighter than, um, I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be more of like. There's tin foil on my nails, and this is definitely a little bit lighter. Um, the swatch is right there. It's a gorgeous color, though. I really like how light it is. It's almost like a shiny off-white gray, and I still think it'll be a really pretty color for this time of year, and I think it'll be even prettier like in the winter. It would be a nice winter color to wear, but I think it's gorgeous. None of these have a top coat, by the way, um, and with the top coat, I think it'll be even more like it'll enhance the shininess of it and it's really pretty and it's like I said almost that kind of like off-white gray so I still like it but I did end up ordering the silver one <laughs> and it's on its way now the next mini I picked up 
is called Grenadine Cocktail. And it's this really cute kind of mauve-y, um, pinky purple, or purpley pink. Um, and it looks more purpley pink in the, in the tube or bottle. But when you swatch it, it's just a really nice kind of mid-tone Barbie safe pink that looks good on a lot of people. And I think it's a beautiful pink. Um, like I said, I think I could see this complimenting a lot of people. And it's a gorgeous color. So that was that one. The next one is Lapis or Lapis. <laughs> and it's just this really nice, um, like, kind of like a muddy baby blue color. And that one is right there. And this is a really nice color. Like I said, it's not quite baby blue. It's kind of like a cloudier, deeper gray color. This one was a little bit streaky and sheer, I will say. Some Matisse light colors are really sheer and some are very opaque. But this one was kind of sheer and streaky. But I do still love the color. And I have one kind of similar to this from the ballet collection. But um, I think this one was different enough for me to pick up. So now I'm moving into the full size one. So the first full size one I bought is this gorgeous color called Living Dead. And this was from their um, zombie collection that came out during Halloween, uh, last Halloween. And I remember I wanted this color so bad because it was like a muted, gorgeous green. And funny enough, I have a color very similar to it. And it is this orally color that I am obsessed with. And I don't know what the color is because it's not on the mini, but I know it's something like... Um, so Jade or something Jade and it came out with one of their collections and whenever I wear this people go ape shit and like everyone's like what color is that it's amazing and this is a total dupe for it so I couldn't swatch them together because I thought about it afterwards but right there um, this color is the um, Matisse light color and then if you go right across it on my little wheel here this um, slightly deeper green is the jade one. So if you can, I know they're not side to side, so I apologize, but that one and that one. So you can see this one is a little bit lighter, the Matisse light one, but honestly, on your nail, no one's going to know you're going to get that same gorgeous kind of jade ugh, effect. I love it. I cannot wait to paint my nails that color. Um, so yeah, I was really excited to find that dupe because I did get the mini because I was like, I don't need more than this, but that is a color that I always regretted not getting the full size. Um, the next color on my wheel is mint ice cream. And this is kind of a dupe for like the Mac. I think it was called peppermint patty, I think, but like the green, like when the mint green trend first came out and everybody was coming out with the mint green. So this is just like lighter than the last green that I showed you. Um, but they actually play off each other very nicely. I could see, you know, you people into feature nails doing kind of a little duo with that. But that's also a gorgeous color. And on this janky, oops, sorry, sorry, on this janky hand, I'm not trying to flip you off, but at work I was playing around with it and I did um, hot pink polka dots, like obviously really sloppy. But I think if you did this more precisely, this is actually kind of a really cute manicure. But yeah. So that is the mint ice cream, another one that I purchased. This one is gorgeous, and it's called Wet Dream. And it is a dupe for the Katy Perry OPI collection um, color Teenage Dream. And it's just a beautiful, like, jelly pink color um, filled with a lot of glitter and then big holographic glitter. And this, from the swatches that I have seen online, is a pretty darn freaking close dupe. And this is the swatch right there. I would say this one is a twinge lighter than um, the Katy Perry one from what I've noticed. Like a little, not as opaque. But still, this is only two coats and you can see that it covered the nail pretty nicely. It still has some sheerness to it because like I said, the base is kind of like a jelly. Um, I would probably put like um, a white base or like a light pink if you wanted it to be like truly opaque. But otherwise... A fantastic color really really pretty I'm happy I picked that up the next one is this and it is called the macadamia mosaic and I picked this up because I have mentioned this so many times I think it was in my <laughs> whoops I think it was in my favorites video the raspberry star that I got from that same collection this is like one of my hands down favorite colors to wear when I'm painting my own nails because I suck at painting my own nails and this is so easy it dries almost instantly it's opaque in one coat um, and it's just the perfect polish for when you want to paint your own nails and it's super glitzy without being like glitter. So it's easier to remove. So I knew that I had always wanted the green one. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to pick it up. 
And that is the swatch right there. Again, gorgeous, nice, shimmery. You get the like bling and the fun metallicness of wearing a glitter without glitter. So I personally love, love, love that finish in nail polish. Um, the next color I picked up is actually not for me. This is for my friend's mom, and it's Tequila Sunrise. And uh, as you can see, I already own Tequila Sunrise, and mine has a big broken glass chunk. But anyways, um, I already own this color. Uh, Ricky's was kind enough to send it to me for review. And when I did the video review, my friend's mom like loved this color, and I thought it was so cute that she watched the video. Um, so I decided to just pick up her own bottle. So this one it won't be for me, but I did swatch mine, just so you could see it. And I pardoned the janky swatch on this one, but this nail thing has seen better days. But you can kind of get the gist of it. It's just a really nice kind of macaroni and cheese orange color with like a green sheen over it. It's really, really pretty. So then the next Matisse color is actually not this one on the wheel. I got to spin you over here because I kind of messed up and forgot about this one. <laughs> so I couldn't do it in a row. But this one is called Lilac Me Over. And it's just this really nice, um, like, almost gray, light, light, lilac color. And I first picked it up because I thought it might be a good little backup slash dupe. God, I keep doing that. Sorry. Okay. Really, Vanessa? It's so hard with the iPad because things, objects appear closer than they are. But I thought it'd be a dupe for the Lavender Cloud that I talked about um, that I know a lot of people are having a hard time finding because I think it's discontinued, um, which is like basically a white with the smallest drop of lavender in it. But this one is definitely much more lavender, even though side by side they don't look that different. You can tell in the swatch. So the more lavender one is the Matisse Light Lilac Me Over, and this one is the Lavender Cloud. So you can see how the Lavender Cloud, even in the swatch, it just looks white, but it's fantastic. Um, and this one I still think is beautiful. And this is another one that I think those two play off nicely together. And it could be like, you know, a cute feature nail or a mani-pedi or whatever. But I do love that color and I can't wait to use that as well. So that was it for the Rickies. I have two more Matisse Alight colors coming my way um, that I picked up online uh, because one of them I thought that I ordered called Factory Girl and I didn't and the other one was that silver that I mentioned. So the next color I picked up in the drugstore and it's just um, Revlon and I got this because it was on a ridiculous sale. That's really the only reason I ever pick up polish but whatever. And this one's called Gold Coast and I thought it was going to be similar to Oh my God, I'm going to kill myself. Jeez. I thought it was going to be similar to uh, this one but this is definitely more of like um, shimmer shimmer and this is more of like a glaze if you will so this one's going to be a pretty underwhelming swatch it's right there but you can kind of see like this is just on a clear you know nail there's no polish under it so you can kind of see what it would do to a polish it's really pretty and it just kind of gives it another dimension and it would look really pretty on the next polish I'm going to show you which I already hauled, um, although I haven't put that haul up yet. And this is an Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics one that I picked up at the makeup show in the color Radiate. And this is so, it's again, one of those things I always say this with neons, but it's true. Like the camera's not even doing it justice. It's so neon that I just can't even stand it. It's going to be my next pedicure color. And again, this one's a little janky on the swatch, but you get the idea. It's just a really perfect ridiculously neon coral like I just love it can't stand it it's amazing so that's it for the nail polishes that I purchased really good definitely check out that Ricky's uh, sale it's a really great sale I got all those polishes for like a crazy cheap price um, and then I really wanted to talk about this nail or this lipstick that I bought. So yesterday was the 4th of July and I slept over at my parents house so I didn't come prepared I didn't have like anything awesome and I was like, I need to go to the drugstore and pick up a lipstick to, you know, salvage my piece of crap look. So I went with this one because it was the cheapest and because I have a Queen Collection CoverGirl lipstick that I really like. And this one is in 305 Hot Passion and holy moly am I obsessed with CoverGirl lipsticks now. Color is like totally the real deal. It's just amazing. It's beautifully um, pigmented. It goes on so creamy. This is like one swipe of it, and it's so opaque, so crazy. Oh, I just love these lipsticks. I my haul, nail polishes, lipstick, mess. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.